Hi everyone, can you believe it? We're at day 21 of Spellbinder's Crafty Advent Calendar. I love today's reveal, this beautiful layering tile die set. Combined it with the sentiment die set from day four for an all occasion card. Cream cardstock was embossed with Floral and Vine 3D embossing folder. I trimmed it down to four inches by five and a quarter inches and adhered it to a top folding black A2 size card base. Today's die set was used to create three tiles. The detailed insert die was taped in the center of the square outline die. Teal cardstock was die cut three times. This square die on its own was used to cut black cardstock. This die cut will be the background for each of the tiles. And I'm creating three tiles, so I do this two more times. These tiles come together so easily. If you're doing one, you might as well do a few. And even more importantly, I really like the repeated tile look on the card. The main flower has two layers and was die cut from blue cardstock. After glue has been dotted on the base layer, then I can use my jewel picker and pop the second layer into position. And these flowers are finished off with some simple black die cut centers. There is one die that cuts the flower centers for all five flowers found on each tile. And then these pretty flowers are adhered to the tile. I really love building these. It is so satisfying to see it transform before your eyes. As I lined up these little flower die cuts, I would pick each one up and place it between my thumb and finger and just rub it. The smooth side is the side that is the right side to place upwards. You can feel the little die cut ridge on the wrong side. As I'm putting on these little flower centers, you may see that with my jewel picker, some of them I'm flipping over. The right side will be slightly domed. Okay, so now for the placement of these little flowers on the tiles. This star shape is not symmetrical, so it does matter how it's positioned on the star on the tile. For each tile, I first aligned the stars before they were adhered. What I noticed is that there were two points that are slightly wider than the rest. These points are positioned inwards facing towards the center flower. However, at the end of the day, does it matter if they're lined up perfectly? No, because nobody's going to be taking a magnifying glass and checking it out. I'm just going to eyeball it and adhere these tiles to the embossed panel. To get these tiles aligned as best as I can without a ruler, I adhere first the top tile, then the bottom tile, centering the third one between the two. And I'm heading back to day four for this fabulous sentiment set from me to you. The shadow dies were used to cut black cardstock. The scripty dies were used to cut teal. As I apply the liquid adhesive to these fine die cuts, I will tap it off so that it won't ooze out when I pop it onto the shadow die cut. Yep, I tapped it off on the back of my hand, whatever's handy, I'm afraid. To get these words lined up on the right-hand side of the panel, I follow the same process that I did for the tiles, adhering the top and bottom word first and then working towards the middle. The sentiment is highlighted with teal opalescent sequins. These sequins are going to be topped off with Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew. As it dries, it will be clear, and I just love the jewel-like effect that it gives the confetti. And there you have it, Day 21 from Spellbinder's Crafty Advent Calendar. I hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for Day 22. I'm shaking it up. As always, I appreciate your visit.